Hello and welcome. Today we're working on an aging of receivable schedule. We're in chapter 8 talking about accounting for receivables. If you're new here, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. And please like and comment and subscribe and we'll see you on lots of our videos. Here we're working on our financial accounting chapters. We're in chapter 8. I've got articles and videos and playlists. So we're happy for you to be here. Now, the aging of receivable schedule looks something like this. We have all these different accounts, all the different accounts, and then if the account is current, how much they owe us. If the account uh, is due uh, 30 days late, up to 30 days late, one day late, up to 30 days, and then 31 to 60 days, and then we have a jump up to 61 to 120 days, and then another jump up to 180 days. And then this last column is any account that's due, has been due for more than 180 days. That's over half a year. So one thing we need to do is figure out the total. And so one thing we can do is we could type in sum and sum the entire column and then copy it across. But there's a faster way. If you're using Excel, let me show you an Excel tip. You can use, if you're on Windows, it's Alt and Equals. I'm on a Mac, so it's, for me, Command-Shift-T for total. And I can do it for the entire table here, Command-Shift-T. And now we have the sum, the formulas for that column. I've got the formulas for each column, and I have the formulas for each row. So that's a little bit faster. So if you're on Windows, Alt and Equals, hold those down at the same time and you'll get uh, the sum. This is the auto sum function, the shortcut. All right, so here's what we have. We have the current amount of accounts receivable is 113,000. The total is 153,000. So you see over time, you know, hopefully we collect along the way, but over time we have a little bit less each time period, but there's $3,400 that is still over 180 days past due. So what we do is the aging part of it is we, we've sorted these by age and each one gets a percentage. So this is our estimate percentage of it being a bad debt or uncollectible. So current we think maybe 1% and then as you go up you would increase the percentages. Now I've just made an estimate. If it's your company you would know more about it or you would look at last year's um, estimate and you figure out is this too high too low and you can adjust right so this is a little bit of, of art rather than a pure science like you must put 10 percent you must put 30 percent it could be 25 percent it could be 50 percent so what we need to do is multiply the 113,000 times 1 percent and then do that same all the way across so what we have is, as the time period that it's past due grows, we see the allowance is higher. So what's our total here? Let's calculate our total. Our total is 5840, 5840. By the way, in sometimes we do a real simple method of a percent of receivables. So what would that overall percent be? Well, if you take the 5840 divided by the 153,600, you would end up getting something like 3.8% looks like. So that's the overall based on, so this is the weighted average if you want to think of it this way. So this is the overall percentage, 3.8%. And we'll find out if that's going to be a good percent or it's too high, too low, or whatever, because um, we'll find out over time. We're not going to be a perfect estimate. Maybe 4% is a better, maybe 5% is a better uh, estimate. All right, so our required allowance is going to be $5,840. So what if our current credit balance is already $600, then how much more do we need to put into that account? Well, we can take the $5,840 minus the $600, and so we need to make an entry for $5,240. So let's make that entry. What entry do we make any time we estimate if we're on the allowance method? Well, we're going to debit bad debt expense and credit allowance for 
we could call it bad debts, we could call it doubtful accounts, uncollectible accounts, or you know, abbreviate some of those. So we need to make an entry for 5240. Our entry is a debit to bad debt expense and a credit to the allowance account of 5240. Now let's just check our work. What if we already have 600 in here and we put in 5240, then what's the balance of our allowance account? Well, it is 5840. That's what we want. One more question here. What about the net receivables? If we know our accounts receivable is 153,600, we know we're not expecting to collect the entire balance. We have an allowance now, so our allowance is 5840. I can use um, that number up there if I need to. So what is the net account receivable? The net account receivable is going to be 147,760. So we have an accounts receivable total balance of 153,600, but we've estimated that 5840 is not going to be collected. So are the net receivables, the amount of the asset we show on our balance sheet is 147,760. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.